Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you about the design specifications of laced columns, which is specified by IS 800-2007 in design of steel structures. In that first one is the lacing system shall be uniform throughout the columns. That is nothing but, have you seen this? This is a single lacing system and this one is double lacing system. This lacing system should be uniform throughout the columns. Next, in single lacing system, the direction of the lacing have you seen this this is first phase i mean phase a and phase b so we need to arrange uh, the lacing on opposite faces should be short of the other but it should not be mutually opposite like the arrangement we need to do okay and the third one is uh, in bolted or riveted have you seen this these are the bolting connections bolting or riveting and the minimum width of this lacing bar this minimum width of this lacing bar we need to provide the code is specifying that three times the diameter of the bolt or rivet okay and when it comes under uh, thickness point of view for single lacing bars the code is specifying that it should not be less than should not be less than 1 by 40th of its effective length for uh, double lacing bars when it comes under thickness we need to consider it should not be less than 1 by 60th of its effective length for double lacing systems like that code is specifying and after that when it comes under angle of inclination i mean uh, how much of angle uh, we need to maintain like that the code is specifying that uh, 40 to 60 degrees sorry 40 to 40 degrees to 70 degrees in between 40 45 50 55 60 like that we need to arrange the code is specifying that 40 to 70 degrees like that and next the distance between uh, the two main members these are the main members this one is one main member and this one is another main member the distance of the two main members should be kept as to get ryy greater than rzz that is nothing but radius of gyration of yy axis greater than radius of gyration of zz axis we need to uh, remind the condition next the maximum spacing of lacing bars have you seen this these these are the spacing bars so uh, I mean by connected by bolting or riveting or welding whatever we need to remember that maximum spacing of lacing bars spacing uh, it should not be greater than greater than 50 or 0.7 times KL by R that is slenderness ratio so we need to remind this condition okay for maximum spacing for this lacing bars after that have you seen this uh, this is our uh, column the force is like this but this portion is inclined okay here the transfer shear will occur so for the transfer shear also we need to consider the code is specifying that uh, we call it as the transfer shear is nothing but vt okay for that the code is specifying uh, vt equal to 2.5 percent of axial load that is this load okay for transfer shear okay in columns in axial load in columns axial force or axial load in the columns like that we need to consider if suppose in case of bending this is a transfer shear in case of bending we need to take that vt value that is bending due to actual shear plus 2.5 percent of axial uh, axial force okay so like that the code is specifying uh, in bending I will show you here have you seen this if the column is subjected to bending Vt equal to bending due to actual shear plus 2.5 percent of column force next one is effective length of single laced system is equal to the length between inner and fasteners that is nothing but have you seen this this fasteners is nothing but bolting or riveting like that next point is for welded joints and double laced effective length is 0.7 times the actual length this is another point and the next one is the slenderness ratio for lacing bars should not exceed 145 code is specifying that it should not be exceed 145 next effective effective slenderness ratio effective slenderness ratio shall be taken as 1.05 times the actual maximum slenderness ratio okay actual maximum slenderness ratio means this one and effective slenderness ratio is this one we need to take as 1.05 times the actual maximum slenderness ratio the last point is laced compression members shall be provided with n type plates n type plates is nothing but have you seen this uh, in 7.6.8 uh, code is specifying this n type plates nothing but batten columns 
here the typelets are there okay like that we need to provide so this is the main specifications the code is specifying for laser columns thank you so much thanks for watching